I have a very special video today because today is the true 25th anniversary well, of not LEGO Star Wars. It's actually LEGO Phantom Menace, specifically. Now I'm just gonna go a little bit back because I made this video. This was last year's 20th true anniversary and I was the only one on the entire YouTube platform to actually talk on the exact same day as the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars from last year. However, I don't think a lot of people are going to be talking about the true 25th anniversary, which is twofold. And it's actually, today is the true 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace specifically. So I'm wearing this awesome hat from the 25th anniversary that just came out during May 4th uh, with all the promotions. I thought this would be a very special day. Now, I don't have many of the sets that have come out this year anyway. I'm not like that big. I don't collect like every set. I do have the 25th anniversary polybag, however, except I do not have the tie interceptor. I don't know why they don't have it anywhere that I live. I, it's the only polybag that I have not gotten day one in like a year, so I don't get it. Um, but I do have this one, and this was a fantastic poly bag that I did review back in January, and this was really great. On all the sets, honestly, this year for the 25th anniversary have been, honestly, with a lot of sets that people have either demanded for or have been just specifically Phantom Menace. So I want to talk about that today, because this is a very specific Phantom Menace LEGO set. It's a good set. It's pretty solid. Um, a lot of the other sets that came out, like the Brickheads, the Sith Infiltrator, uh, my, uh, man, there was just so many good ones, honestly, right now. Uh, and of course, who can forget the gift with purchase that came out this year with the Druid Carrier? Mm, just a chef's kiss, may I add? But I don't want to talk about the 25th anniversary of LEGO as a whole because honestly, I'm going to wait till later in the year because it technically came out in October of 2024 when the first 1999 wave came out. But do I have something from 1999? Any Key9 viewer of my LEGO YouTube channel will know that this is the only set that I have ever carried that is literally I've never opened and anything. Like, this is the original droid fighter, the vulture droid, that's from 1999, and this makes total sense for today, as this is the big celebration of Phantom Menace. Now, this set came out probably, I think, October of 1999. However, this makes a lot of sense for the Phantom Menace, and that is today. Um, the Phantom Menace itself, let's just be real, it's been talked to death at this point, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not, it's, it's a movie I look fondly because I'm a Star Wars fan, but honestly, it's not a great movie, whatever, blah, 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 I don't care. There's a lot of good stuff that's still in it, like Duel of the Fates, who can forget, but also, this movie's been talked down to death, but you know what, this specific set hasn't. This set sucks. Why does it suck? There's just nothing to it, it's just a small little Vulture Droid. The Vulture Droid ain't that bad for 1999. Also, I do love that, like, back in the day, LEGO just loved to incentivize alternative builds because LEGO is for creativity, and I love that. I really do love it. Uh, but this set I spent, like, $30 on, and now it's, like, $40 now, so it's, like, I guess, you know, I have an investment in my hands, but, like, who really cares? I mean, we've also come a very, very long way from the past 25 years as well. And while I really do like looking back at a lot of these old 1999 sets, I want to look a little bit into the future. Well, let's just say the future and the past, because the last time LEGO did, like, I mean, last year was a big anniversary, uh, but uh, for the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars, but that wasn't really, like, that was more of a gimmick at a certain point. Uh, the last time we truly had the anniversary was with the 20th, 20th year anniversary minifigures. That was the true 20th LEGO Star Wars celebration, now it's the 25th. Uh, I have fives here from the 25th anniversary of the Tanada 4 Invade, um, but I do have the other three right here. I have the Obi-Wan exclusive uh, gift with purchase one, and I have Han Solo and Vader. Uh, and honestly, these all look great. And I'm actually glad that LEGO keeps continuing to make these kind of collectible figures for their anniversaries. And I'm really, I mean, once they get to their 30th anniversary, I mean, they're probably going to be like having as much heat figures as they are this year with like, I mean, with five, Saw Gerrera, uh, they're going to do like the female Astromax soon and Cal Kestis. I mean, a lot of these figures are so, so amazing. And I mean, whatever you say, most of these figures have not been remade except for like, you know, the mall figure and whatever and whatnot. Uh, and with most of these figures, they don't have like the annoying like printing of like the 20th anniversary. No, these are just actually good figures they have with a plaque and honestly I think this is a perfect compromise I mean not just a compromise I think this is more ideal across the board at this point and I'm glad that we can celebrate these kind of anniversaries together um, and I think it's more important to show how far we have come um, from like the early days of Lego and Lego Star Wars and also Star Wars and I'll, and now seeing where it has come to now and I think that is just a phenomenal phenomenal way to celebrate and to give the fans what they truly want 
I'm very excited to see where they go for the future, honestly. I mean, this... I mean, as you can tell, I'm already a huge LEGO fan, but also LEGO Star Wars fan. And so, I can't wait to see what they're cooking up for the rest of the summer. I can't wait to see what they're cooking for the rest of the year. And honestly, I'm going to probably do a way more in-depth look once it comes to probably October. It's probably going to be the first week of October that I'm going to do the true 25th anniversary for LEGO Star Wars. Because this is truly the 25th anniversary of Phantom Menace. And I feel like that needs to be more specific to it. Um, but I don't feel like talking about Phantom Menace right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to get in on this. Also, I'm really serious. Pick up this Cody. This is a good Cody. It's a good brickhead. Good brickhead.